Welcome to October's Lico Challenge. Today's problem is k diff pairs in an array. Given an array of integers and an integer k, return the number of unique k diff pairs in the array. A k diff pair is an integer pair where o, i and j are within O of n, i does not equal j, and b minus a equals k. Uh, I don't know why they had to make it so complex. Like really, this is just a two sum problem. All we care about is, can we subtract one number from the other to get our target k? So knowing that, um, this problem is a little bit more tricky than you would expect. But let's just say that we ha could assume that k equaled some number, like above 0, like 1 through whatever. Um, and if that was the case, how do we normally solve a two-sum problem? Basically, we create a hash, right, to, get to do it in O of n time. We create some sort of look up and I'm going to use the counter object insert our nums and now we have a look up to look up all the numbers that exist inside of our nums so we'll initialize our count to start with zero and what we'll do is say for key and value in c dot items all we need to do is just look up can we find its pair right so if key plus k in C, then we will increase our counter. And the reason we only increase it by one is because we only want to find the unique ones, right? And that gets taken care of by this hash object, and we only want to increase it by one. So that would be it. This would work. But there's a problem here. What happens if our k equals zero? And that is a problem because, well, if k equals zero here, for instance, we might look through it and think, okay, was well, one exist? Yep, three exists, yep. Um, and then we're gonna get like an answer of, well, here we'd get four, one, two, three, four, five. There's five, but there's only four unique types, so we'd get the answer four, but that's not right. It should be only one because we see that one and one is the candidate pair. Okay, so what can we do here? Um, well, if this is the case, k equaling zero, what we really care about is to find the number of numbers that appear more than once inside of our array, right? So that's kind of different. It's not like we're looking for its candidate pair. Um, it is, but we just want to see, hey, does one appear more than once inside of our array? So let's just separate that from the other one. We'll just have a separate statement and say, if k equals zero, We'll do it a little bit differently. We'll still go through k through v in c dot items, but we'll just say, look, if the value is greater than one, then increase our counter. Now, otherwise, just do it the normal way, and we'll do that inside of it else right there. And this should work. Let's go ahead and submit that. It does not work. Oh, forgot items. See, this watch probably run it before doing this, but whatever, it gets accepted. There we go. So this, um, yeah, it, it was harder than I expected. Like this part, I got pretty easily. Uh, it took me a while to think of a way to take care of this zero cases. Like whenever I thought I solved one use case, I would have to return to another use case, and finally I realized. Look, if k equals zero, we just need a completely different algorithm. Otherwise, everything else, we can do it this way. All right. Thanks for watching my channel. And remember, do not trust me. I know nothing.